it goes through the American race politics uh, lens, therefore yeah. it becomes white flag. Yeah. Anyway, um, so this was released. It's obviously absurd. It got a lot of traction. People saying this is this is disgusting, um, rightfully. Yeah. And Coca Cola were asked to confirm whether or not this is true. This is an article with Coca Cola quotes in which they issued a statement saying that this was the case. Uh, the video circulating on social media is from a publicly available LinkedIn learning series and is not a focus of our company's curriculum. So it sounds like they're dancing it, but they don't. Our Better Together Global Learning Curriculum is part of the learning plan to help build an inclusive workplace. It is comprised of a number of short vignettes, each a few minutes long. The training includes access to LinkedIn learning on a variety of topics, including diversity, equity, and inclusion. We will continue to refine this curriculum. So they're not denouncing it. They're saying, we're going to continue doing this. They're not denouncing it. And I think it's important that people approach Coast Code and explain to them that what they're doing is trying to raise white racial consciousness. That's the... Robin DiAngelo's own words. That's the, the example. Robin DiAngelo's own words. The purpose is to raise white racial consciousness, which is exactly what the Germans were doing with German racial consciousness. It's exactly what the black supremacists are doing with black racial consciousness. And it's exactly the opposite of what the liberals should be trying to achieve, which is not raising racial consciousness because as far as a liberal is concerned this is the core root of racism and we in fact have a massive textbook over there of critical race theory that was written by Kimberly Crenshaw the lady who coined the term intersectionality and she just outright says this. she says well the liberals will reject this as being racist it's because it is just because it is yes and she's like yes but it's racism for good it's racism to help black people and not white people therefore it's okay I guess therefore it's okay that's how these people think but the, the interesting thing about them accepting that it was white is, sorry, it was true that they had used this material, yeah. is apparently, according to the whistleblower, they were saying to the employees to lie and say that it wasn't true. So oh, the really? next link here should be uh, uh, from Carolyn saying, yeah. So he, he says that uh, they were instructed, the employees here, to tell their friends and family who reached out to them about the viral images and the video and say that it was false. But why? Why, yeah, why would you do that? So, Aren't you proud of so, raising this racial consciousness? So they know they've done something wrong. Yeah, they yeah. were panicking and trying to be like, no, 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 it's not real. And then I, I assume they realized the jig was up and they, they gave the, up. The jig is up because Coca Cola has tens of thousands of employees that they've tried to brainwash <laughs> into white supremacy. Yeah, like, so, this wasn't going to work. Yeah. But what's interesting is the response LinkedIn. So this isn't Coca Cola, this is LinkedIn have taken down the, origi the original uh, <laughs> lecture. But of course, the internet always remembers and there's an yeah, archive yeah. of it. Yeah. And people can go check it out there. It is real, it was a thing. Uh, so you can't 20,000 people have taken this course. 20,000 people. And that's just on LinkedIn, because yeah. you could buy it and then Ju issue it. Just on LinkedIn, have had their brains massaged with Robin D'Angelo's race propaganda, pro-race pop propaganda. And that's this single source as well. I mean, we're not talking about yeah. the, the endless organizations that oh, recommend yeah, yeah. her books to their employees. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, yeah absolutely. The, uh, the God Emperor's son decided mm -hmm. to retweet a meme referencing this, the next one. So we know that they, the uh, higher ups in the conservative movement at least saw this, yeah. which is good. Because oh, that's not. No, no, he retweeted this. Right, right, right. So it's it's good to know that they yeah. at least know that this is going on. Yeah. And for people who can't see it's a tweet, which yeah. is the guy who buttons, be less white or acting black is cultural appropriation. And it's a good point. Yeah. If you want to be less white, how are you not engaging in cultural appropriation? But I, I just can't get over the idea. Like, I I can't get over the idea of, of looking at a culture. You could go to, like, I don't know, any culture around the world. You could go to Indonesia. You're like, could you be less Indonesian, please? You're like, what? You know, the, the things that Indonesians do, the things that you value, the things you believe, just stop doing them. We find them oppressive. We find them to be, you know, hurting us. Could you just stop it? They're going to be like, no. Well, it's not actually, it's even worse than that because this is, you know, that would kind of make sense in America. But you're coming to say Indonesia and saying be less Asian or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't even think of myself in that way. I'm Indonesian. Yeah, yeah. What are yeah. you talking about? But, it, but it, in America, if like white has more, you know, actual content as a phrase even then it's just like okay look your culture just stop that I don't like it mm. like, no. like you have no who asked you? Again, who asked you flip it on its head yeah. you know because uh, whites oh, yeah. are performing worse than society at some point therefore we can turn around to the black Americans and say right stop being black hey How Asians Asians stop working so hard you know things like like it's awful, it's awful. anyway it turns out it wasn't just a one little cock up that 
they, they've done. Yeah. It turns out that this is, is part of a broader policy. Thing. Oh, what a shock. So I went to the, the racial equity uh, section on that website. Oh, God, Coca-Cola, what are you doing? Yeah, real cringe. But they're paying money for this. Again, a reason you should check out our podcast on ethical companies. Yes, it so really is. This. But the, the next link should be an image. It's a PNG which is their, like, racial equity plan, I presume. Can we go, hang on, go back a second, sorry, to the, the other one. This, there is no place in our world for racism. There is, it's called Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like... <laughs> but the point is, look, when you, get, when you get such an absolute statement, there is no place in our world for X, it's like, oh, God, that means anything is going to be justified in the service of doing this. Anything, you know... Which, which they do. They, they justify some absurd things. So we okay, go back yeah, to the, the PNG. This is their plan. And some of the stuff in here just, uh, I love as well, the way they frame it. So there's like yeah. the first thing, like 10 years. So uh, 10 years. Oh, they've got a 10 year plan, have they? Recruiting, hiring, uh, development, and advancement of blacks. I was just like, whoa, Cap okay. Capital B blacks as well. So blacks, the proper noun, the political movement, blacks. But I love how like unfitting it sounds. Like when they start recruiting more blacks. It yeah. sounds like a company that's that's not even on board with it. Like, yeah, man, I love uh, uh, black people. Uh, that's what I call them. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. It's like, it really does sound like yeah, the new like plantation, doesn't it? Weird. Anyway, they also hey, say... Hey, blacks, do you want to work at Coca-Cola? Uh, they say that they have uh, 12 months to embed a diversity and inclusion policy within all their systems. So this is, I presume, them bringing it in because it's November 2020. Yeah. So now this is the event which that staff member got. 100% yeah. of staff will have access to diversity inclusion curriculum. I don't buy that have access oh. is optional for a second. Yeah, 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 I don't believe it's optional. But even then, okay, great. Right, you're a white staff member and you're going to be given access, you know, given access to this diversity, equity, and inclusion curriculum and that where they're going to be like, right, so being white's bad. Thanks. Good. Moral good in the world, Coca-Cola. Yeah. Thanks. They also say they're going to give 500 million for black-owned <laughs> businesses. So just racial money then. We're going to give money to 